हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ रेक्टेंगुलर इनक्लाइन सर्फेस विच इज इमर्ज इन वॉटर एंड वॉट आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ वॉटर ऑन दैट इनक्लाइन सर्फेस फॉर दैट वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन यर अ रेक्टेंगुलर प्लेन सर्फेस थ्री मीटर वाइड एंड फोर मीटर डीप लाइज इन वॉटर इन सच अ वे दैट इट्स प्लेन मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री विथ फ्री सर्फेस ऑफ वॉटर determine the total pressure and position of center of pressure when the upper edge is 2 meter below the free surface this is the question we have now from this question i have written this data that is since the rectangular plane surface is 3 meter wide so b that is width is 3 meter and 4 meter deep so d is equal to 4 meter next it lies in water in such a way that its plane makes an angle of 30 degree with free surface of water so theta is 30 degree determine the total pressure and position of center of pressure total pressure means hydrostatic force f and position of center of center of pressure is h star when the upper edge is 2 meter below the free surface so now as we have read this question we have understood that we have to calculate hydrostatic force and position of center of pressure so let us start with the solution for this now here i have drawn the diagram already that this is a rectangular plane surface which is immersed in water as it is given in the question here width of the rectangular surface or rectangular plane this width is given it is 3 meter next the depth of this rectangular plane surface is also given that is 4 meter now it is said in this question that when the upper edge is 2 meter below the free surface here if we look at this rectangular surface this is the upper edge so this upper edge is 2 meter below the free surface of water this is the free surface of water and from that 2 meter distance is the upper edge next here i have marked g which indicates the centroid of this rectangular plane surface this centroid g i have projected it here and its distance from the free surface is h bar inclination of the plane is given theta is equal to 30 degree next the first question is we have to find hydrostatic force and the second one is to calculate center of pressure now with this diagram available i'll say that since hydrostatic force or total pressure is given by we have the formula f is equal to density into area into acceleration due to gravity into h bar i'll call this as equation number 1 now density of water we know it is 1000 rho is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube this value is standard for water area of this element we can calculate that is it is 3 into 4 area we can also calculate now g is 9.81 h bar is the only value which we don't have here so we need to calculate the distance of the centroid of this rectangular plate from the free surface now for that purpose what we can do here is that here since this height up to 2 meter we know that is this much portion from free surface till this dotted line this is 2 meter now i need to calculate just this remaining portion that is below the dotted line and if i get this portion i will add it 
into 2 meter and I'll get h bar. So for this what we can do here, I'll, I have projected this dotted line. Now from here also I will project a vertical line, vertical dotted line so that we get a triangle and that is a right angle triangle. Now I'll say that therefore from geometry of figure alongside this small triangle I'll draw it again here this triangle now since this angle is 30 so even the angle of this triangle that is also 30 degree so here I have 30 degree as the angle I'll name this small triangle it is A B C now if I can get the value of BC it means I will get this height and if I get this height in that I will add 2 meter and h bar would be found out. So here I will say that from the geometry of the figure alongside since this is opposite side opposite to 30 and this AC the distance from here A to C this is exactly half of the depth depth is 4 meter so from here till here it is 2 meter so this distance of the hypotenuse here that is 2 meter and the same value I will write it here. So now I will say that I will use the formula of sine sine 30 degree that is sine theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse that is BC upon AC. So from this BC it is equal to AC into sin 30 so therefore BC is AC is 2 so 2 sin 30 and finally BC value it comes out to be it is 1 meter now after getting this value BC in that I will add 2 meter and get h bar I hope this is understood now therefore h bar will be 2 meter plus bc and that is 2 meter plus bc is 1 meter and hence h bar comes out to be 3 meter now once I know h bar I can say that also area of rectangle or rectangular plane capital A is equal to it will be 3 meter into 4 meter because 3 meter is the width and 4 meter is the depth so area is 12 meter square now put all values in equation number 1 so hence I have F that is hydrostatic force is equal to in equation 1 we have density density for water is 1000 so 1000 into capital A is the area area is 12 next G is 9.81 and h bar it is 3 meter so from this I will get the value of f and that comes out to be 353.17 into 10 raised to 3 Newton this is my first answer so I have got the value of f that is hydrostatic force or total pressure this is my answer number one Next, I will calculate center of pressure that is center of pressure is a single point where this hydrostatic force would be acting. Since 
सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला इज एच स्टार इज इक्वल टू फॉर एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन सर्फेस इट इज आई जी इन टू साइन स्क्वेर थीटा अपॉन ए एच बार प्लस एच बार नाउ आई कीप दिस एज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नेक्स्ट वी हैव ऑल द वैल्यूज यर एक्सेप्ट आई जी आई जी इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द सेंट्रॉइड फॉर रेक्टेंगुलर प्लेन सर्फेस सो यर देर फॉर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट सेंट्रॉइड इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला फॉर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर प्लेन सर्फेस इट इज बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व सो आई पुट द वैल्यूज यर B is three, D is four, so B D cube by twelve, and my answer of I suffix G that is sixteen meter is to four. Now after getting I G, I'll put all values in equation number two and get the values of H star. So therefore. put all values in equation number 2 so hence i'll put the values onto the next page h star is equal to here i have i suffix g value is 16 into sin square theta theta is 30 degree given in the problem so it is sin square 30 degree divided by a into h bar a is 12 h bar we have calculated it is 3 so 12 into 3 plus h bar that is 3 so from this i'll get h star as equal to 3.11 meter now this is my second answer so if we look into the question there were two unknowns we we were asked and the first one was hydrostatic force that is hydrostatic force or we can call it as total pressure the value we have calculated it was 353.17 into 10 raised to 3 newton our first answer next h star that is the location of this hydrostatic force from the free surface of water h star is 3.11 meter since both the values are known now i can indicate H star onto the diagram. See, H bar is three meter. This value is three meter. So H star is three point one one meter. It means just below H bar. I'll show it onto the diagram. Now. from free surface to the location of this point here this i'll call it as cp that is the center of pressure and its value is h star is equal to 3.11 meter so here h bar was the location of centroid g h star is the location of center of pressure that is at this point the hydrostatic force would be acting so in this video we have seen how to solve a problem 
of an inclined plane immersed in water.